Good morning, once again. To the all first year student for the online, I mean online classes. So in the offline classes, what we did, uh, I mean uh, whatever the basics we have learned during those three to four classes. So what I thought is to continue those things in this uh, uh, classes also, so that the <clears throat> one bad rhythm will be will uh, come in you for the chemistry. So see uh, for C batch uh, we have uh, I have lagging, but for B and A batch we have moved further. So let us have the same concept that is atomic radius. <clears throat> so we came to know how the weight will come in the matter. So due to the presence of electron, proton and the neutron, they contribute some amount of uh, mass in the matter. So that's why uh, we feel some weight in the matter. So likewise, uh, after that, what we saw is atom consists of nucleus. Around the nucleus, there will be always a revolving of electron, right? So now, <clears throat> atomic radius means the size of atom, right? The size of atom we saw. Uh, if there is an atom means, there should be a nucleus, very importantly. And to that nucleus, always the revolving, uh, revolving uh, I mean, to this nucleus, the electron will always revolve, right? So this is the general view of atomic radius. So then, what is atomic uh, size? How to define or uh, how to define atomic radius? So simply, the uh, student here, what we need to do is, right? So the distance between the center of the nucleus to the outermost cell. The distance between the center of the nucleus to the outermost cell is called as atomic radius or we can also say this as or we can also call this as atomic size and how to identify the atomic radius means i mean atomic size that depends on the number of electron present and the and, and that depends on the balance cell also see in uh, uh, let us take a uh, one example that is hydrogen in hydrogen we have only one electron and whose uh, uh, electronic configuration is 1s1 so that means see here this is very important this only decides i mean the electronic configuration only decides what is the size of a particular element so coming to uh, see i will write before going to this i will write some uh, name of the elements helium lithium sodium potassium rubidium and cesium so this is a group right Already we, uh, we know what are group and periods, right? If we move from top to bottom in the periodic table, uh, we call that as a group. And if we move left to right in the period, then that is called a... Uh, I mean, if we move from left to right in the periodic table, that is called period, right? Lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, chlorine, like this. So the same uh, case we will take one uh, in, in whole periodic table. What we are going to do is, I am I'm, I'm taking one group for the explanation and one period, right? So if I move like this, then it is called as period horizontally from left to right. If I move from top to bottom, then it is called a group. So let us consider first a group. Uh, uh, and take a uh, first example as hydrogen and whose electronic configuration will be 1s1, right? Very important. And now, next, uh, uh, if I come down in the same group, then the next element will be lithium and whose electronic configuration will be 1s2, 2s1. Why? Because here the atomic number of this lithium is 3, right? 
So likewise, if I come again one element down in the same group, that means lithium to sodium. See, I am coming down in the same, same group, only one group. And what we are going to see, whether the atomic radius, uh, I mean increasing or decreasing. So atomic radius is nothing but the distance, the distance between the center of the nucleus to the outermost valence cell. That valence cell, uh, cell might be first cell or it might be second cell or it may be third cell, it depends, right? So now here the electronic configuration becomes minus 2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1, likewise. So consider these three uh, elements after, no, uh, after getting uh, the point here in the same group, uh, one we can decide whether the uh, size is increasing in the group or not. So now see, Again, in case of hydrogen, there is a nucleus. Nucleus means how many? Uh, I mean, how many principal cells? Only one principal cell. So thus, so this is the imaginary size of what hydrogen. So in the same group, if I come down, then definitely we are moving into second cell, right? So that means the imaginary size of lithium will be this much. And in the same group, if I come down one more element, then see, we are nearly at the third cell. So thus, here we can add the three cells and this will be the imaginary size of what? Sodium. See, very clearly one, one we can see that in the group, the atomic radius or size of the atoms is increasing. Right? See here. Yes. So in the first case, we are almost at the first cell. And if I come down in the same group, then we, we are in the second cell. And if, and if I come down one more element in the same group, then definitely we are at the third cell. That means as, as we are moving down, in the same group, see, hydrogen size is this much. Now, lithium has increased its, its size. Why? Because its electron has moved into the new shell. Right? One more extra shell. And now, in the same group, if I come down again, then the sodium size is a bit increased. If I compare potassium, I mean, lithium with sodium, then definitely the sodium size is more. Why? Because in lithium, we are exactly at the second cell. But if we come down by one element in the same group down, then we are moving into the third cell. So that's why its size has increased. So overall conclusion, what is the conclusion about the atomic radius in the group means, see, the atomic radius always increases in the group. Why? Why? Because I like as we saw now, uh, uh, now that in group the elements are moving into the new shell. That means if I if we come down like this, I mean hydrogen to lithium or lithium to sodium or sodium to potassium, the electrons are moving into the new shell. So because of electron moving into the new shell, the number of cells are increasing. I mean uh, the cells are adding adding up, right? So that's why the cell size is increases. That means atomic radius in, in group always increases, right? Always it increases. Why? Because well, the reason is, uh, the chemi uh, chemically the reason one we can give is that the, the electrons are moving into the new shell. So this is the trend of atomic radius we can one we can see in case of the group in case of group right so now <coughs> consider a period so now moving from top to bottom is nothing but group if i move like this that means horizontally from left to right in the periodic table then it is called a period right so then it is called a period now we want to check whether the atomic size of our element is increasing in case of period or not. 
in case of group we came to know what is the trend of atomic radius of various elements but now we want to see what is the trend trend i mean variation takes place if i move from left to right in the periodic table so now let us check now see here consider these elements like uh, you can say lithium beryllium boron carbon nitrogen oxygen fluorine so i am not considering the noble gases because they are the inert gases or they are the uh, what zero groups so now see here in case of lithium what is its <clears throat> atomic number 3 Here four, I mean beryllium. Boron has uh, uh, five. Carbon, we all we all know six. Nitrogen has seven. Likewise, oxygen eight, and finally fluorine is nothing but ninth element present in the periodic table, or when we can say the atomic mass or number of the uh, fluorine will be nine, right? So now again, what we are going to see, what is the trend? of atomic radius in case of period right so i will just write the atomic uh, i mean electronic configuration again of lithium consider a lithium lithium atomic number is 3 so thus 1 is 2 2 is 1 right so now uh, move uh, uh, right uh, one element right then it will be a beryllium and a beryllium electronic configuration is like this so now Again, boron. Boron means five. One s two. Two s two is also completed because of five electron. One electron is remaining. So thus, in second cell only, we are moving into the p sub shell. So now coming to the carbon like this. One s two. Two s two. Two p two. So <clears throat> see, in case of a period. So the very important point is this. i mean we are just adding the electron in the same shell very important so the difference is very important to know what was uh, what is happening in case of atomic radius right in group what what is the main reason uh, to increase the atomic radius because the electrons are moving into the new shell but here the case is different the electrons are not moving into the new shell but the electrons are moving into the same shell see from lithium if you if you consider after nitro here I, i mean after carbon there is a nitrogen nitrogen means 2p3 next oxygen means 2p4 next fluorine means 2p5 that means if if we consider any period in the periodic table definite definitely the electrons will move into the same shell right so because of moving into the same shell see here very importantly so for all only one diagram is enough to understand right so almost we are here and the atomic size is like this so now what we are doing while moving from left to right in the period what we are doing is we are adding one extra electron in the same shell right see here in case of lithium in second cell we have only one electron but what about here that means in beryllium the number of electrons will be two in the second cell now consider this i mean boron now here there are two that means here there are three electrons in the same cell that means see and here in here we have four electrons so that means what we are doing is generally the electrons are entering into the same shell because the electrons are entering into the same shell the density of electron increases in the cell so if the density increases what happens definitely that that cell will shrink little bit towards what towards the nucleus why it will uh, shrink towards the nucleus because nucleus has positive charge right the reason is why i and like how the atomic size decreases very importantly why because see the cell is shrinking towards the nucleus 
that means the cell is not <clears throat> uh, shrinking like uh, i mean uh, more that means it is shrinking uh, gradually at atom by atom if we move then the size is cell size will decreases because of the reason is the electrons are entering into the same shell so this is the, mm, the reason uh, how the atomic radius changes or variation uh, takes place during in case of group and period we saw already that means i i uh, again repeat it uh, so in case of group if we move from top to bottom in the same any group you can take in the periodic table so any group if you if you come to know uh, for about one uh, group then it will be very easy to uh, um, say i mean uh, explain about atomic radius about a, uh, other groups i mean right so this is the trend one we can say so in group what was happening with the atomic radius it is always increasing or increases the reason is the reason is because electrons are entering into the shell entering into new shell right so this is very important if you want you can <coughs> note it down right so in group always the atomic radius i mean you can say like this atomic radius increases and the reason is very important the reason is because electrons are entering into the new shell so already we saw right in case of group so now you consider in case of period in case of period the atomic radius decreases right so the reason is because electrons are entering into the same shell right entering into same shell so this is the conclusion what we can say about the atomic radius in case of group as well as in case of the period so this is all about today's class in the tomorrow's class we will see the next part of it that is ionization energy right so uh, dear student you remember these points if you come to know about the atomic radius then it will be very easy to understand the uh, next properties of periodic table like ionization energy electronegativity metallic character right so these properties are very important to know about the elements present in the periodic table so with this we will conclude so we will meet in the next video right thank you